So guys, in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a custom table in React. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete a row in a table dynamically. You'll probably need to watch my previous tutorial to get some background on how to create tables in React. So here's our table from previous tutorial. And here we have the use state variable rows that contains all of the cities and temperatures. Here we also created the table component and also the row component that goes inside table. And also we have created the cities array, which contains all of our table column data. So we're going to delete a row dynamically on a button click from this array of rows. And the first thing we want to do is create the delete row function. So it's going to execute every time we click on a button which we'll create later. So I'm going to define the function as delete row. It's going to be an arrow function. I'm going to use number here, which is going to be the index of the city array here. So this would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this will be the number of, of the city that we want to delete. Okay, so whenever you want to change an array in React, you have to make a copy of that array first before applying those changes and then assigning it back to the original value. So here we have the cities array and if we want to delete something from it, first we need to make a copy of that array. So I'm going to create a variable and call it copy. And I'm going to assign rows to it. But JavaScript assigns arrays by reference and it's not what we need. So we need to actually make a copy. So what I'm going to do is put this array in the brackets and use the spread operator. So this spread or rest operator, which is the three dots, is going to make a physical copy of the original rows array, which is exactly what we need. So the way I'm going to implement the delete is through the filter function. So I'm going to filter out the city we want to delete, which is the row we want to delete from the table when the button is clicked. So I'm going to provide a filter equation, which is going to be without the brackets. We can just delete the brackets. So the filter function is going to go through each item in the array and compare it to the number. So here, if number is not equal to the index of the current value in the array, it's going to evaluate to true. So in other words, you could easily do something like put this in parentheses and check if it's true. But that's exactly what's going to happen anyway. So I'm going to remove this code here. It's still going to evaluate to true anyway. And if it does evaluate to true, we have our row that was clicked, removed from the copy of our array. And now with that row removed, we're going to set the copy back into the rows value in the state object. So first we also need to assign it to copy because the filter function will return everything except that row that was clicked. So now I'm going to add the delete button, but remember it's in the table and it's in the row. So I'm going to go into our row component and here I'm going to add at the bottom another column and I'm going to create a button and name it delete. So if I refresh my app right now, you will see um, the delete button appear in the third column. And if I click on any of them, nothing really happens. But we're going to add the delete row function to it. So here's the delete row. And we need to pass it to our columns. We're going to use props to do that. So to pass delete row into the table, let's say I'm going to name it del row. And I'm going to just pass the delete row function into the table by name. And so now I'm going to go to my table component and I'm going to add it as a prop value in 
the structuring statement. I'm going to delete that. So this del row is the function that was passed into table. Now we need to pass it into the row as well from the table component. So I'm going to do del row equals del row. And now I'm going to go to the row component and pick it up here from the destructure statement also as del row. And in the button, I'm going to say on click equals another function inside the brackets. We can't just put it by name. We have to create another arrow function because it has arguments. So, and here, what are we going to pass to the del row? We need to pass the index. It's that number from earlier. This is the index of the row being deleted. So how do we get it? So here in the table, if we go back to the component, you will see we use the data map function. And here's where we get index from. Index equals index from the map function. And now we're going back to the row component. And I'm going to add index passed as a prop. And now we're going to add this index to the del row function. So now we're going to execute del row, which we passed as a prop from the main component. And every time we click on a button, this delete row function will execute filter out our deleted row and React will re-render everything again without that item. So here I'm going to delete Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, London, and Seattle. So guys, in this tutorial, I showed you how to create a delete row function how to pass the props from the main table component into the row component. We created a copy of an array of a use state object because we can't change state objects directly, especially if they're objects or arrays and not just single variables. And that we looked at using the array map function to actually render a list of rows and added a delete button. So quite a lot to grasp in just this tutorial. If you get stuck on anything, just feel free to post a comment and hopefully I'll see you in my other React tutorials on this channel.